First Lego League is an international robot tournament for children and youngsters from all over the world. The program was founded by Lego and the US organization FIRST in 1998. Ever since then, teams from different countries meet and compete with each other. In Central Europe, the team of Hands-on Technology organizes the FLL events. Focuses of the competition are sciences and new technologies. The first LEGO League uh, has the idea to um, attract young kids in the age between 10 and 16 for technology, for science, for natural science uh, mainly, and for technical ideas and that's uh, the, the robot is a good uh, thing to bring together different uh, matters. And here they come, the FLL teams. All of them bring their equipment. Computers, software, boxes with Lego bricks and most important, their robots. The robot is the key element of FLL. The teams have eight weeks to prepare for the tournaments. During this time, the teams design, build and program an autonomous robot with LEGO bricks and LEGO Mindstorms technology. During the tournaments, the robot has to solve real-world engineering challenges on the playing mat. Yeah, the idea of first LEGO League comes actually uh, from the scientific world because uh, people realize that the young people should have um, access to the scientific world and that's the reason why this FLL will help and support the idea to bring kids and young people uh, more exciting for, 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 the, for the new technologies. The robot is not the only challenge in FLL. Besides the robots, there are other research projects. The teams have to develop a solution to a real-world problem which is given to them in advance. They have to talk to scientists and experts in the field of technology. In the tournament, they present the solution of their problem in a research presentation. Perfect. We minimize the number of bacteria. And I think the scientists did a very good job. If you want to participate in First Lego League, you need to be clever, creative and quick. In order to become FLL champion, a team first has to participate successfully in a regional tournament and the semi-final. Then the big Central European FLL final starts. Two days full of robot games, team spirit and excitement. The best teams qualify for the FLL Open European Championship or even the FLL World Festival. A big prize for the teams. Are they nervous? No, not at all. I'm not nervous. I'm nervous, of course, but I think um, the other teams are good, he said, but we are also good and so we give our best to win. I feel also nervous, but not as much as before a math test or something like this. <laughs> Nothing is really easy here. Yeah. We are stressed. I feel me very good. Of course, every tournament needs a jury. The FLL jury consists of many different people scientists, programmers, project organizers, politicians and sponsors. All of them judge the teams in different categories. Besides the main categories, there are many others like creativity, communication, best programming and so on. The referees guarantee fair play. Three, two, one, go! The race is on. The enthusiasm of the teams is obvious. There is a lot of team spirit because nobody wants to lose. Our goal is to win, of course. Building these things and making them work is really interesting and which is why we're here. I think that uh, we are here to win. Uh, we want to be as good as we can, we will give our best and then we will see how good we are. And we want to have fun. Yeah, that's really important. Yeah. It's fun for me too. <laughs> Category 1. Robot Design. So, 
we have a look on the first side, on the first end of the strategy of the team. How will they uh, plan uh, to, to, to solve the problems in the mat? And the other hand, we have a look at the programming, how they organize the programming, uh, can they explain what they are programming? And the third part is uh, to have a look at the model, which mechanical constructions they have, how uh, uh, smart uh, is, is the model, how stable is the model, does everything work they have planned uh, with the applications and things like that. Category 2 Research presentation. They don't only have to, to, to work with the robots, but they have to prepare a special research uh, question. Usually they work in their local area. First of all, they have to find a question, what they want to talk about, and then they afterwards they present their solution. Um, and they can use every kind of media like PowerPoint presentation or um, theater or whatever. Category 3 It's a unique situation that they haven't seen before. So this is the first time they've seen the challenge and they have to come with a solution immediately. They can't plan in advance for it because they don't see it until they come to the field. So it gives the judges a different perspective on the students. We get to see um, how they react as a team, how well do they program um, very spontaneously. So it adds a new dimension to the competition. Category 4. Teamwork. In the category teamwork, uh, we look at the teams, they get in tasks, they have to uh, solve commonly, and we observe the team, how the um, collaboration in the team is, how the role assignment is, and after that, we will have some questions to the team to figure out how the teamwork is, because teamwork is essential for First Lego League. But the most exciting hours of the tournament are the robot games. Category 5 Robot Games During the robot game, the robot has to fulfill many challenges on the playing mat by itself. One round takes two and a half minutes. It is important that the robot solves as many tasks as possible within this time. Every mistake leads to missing points. During the robot games, the teams are on fire. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I learned from these people. <laughs> no, really. Uh, when I see how these kids working and what idea they created, honestly, I have to say, when I was in this age, I was not able to do that, what they kids today. Eight weeks of preparation, many challenges and tournaments. All this means a lot of stress. But the last moments of the FLL tournament seem to be worth it. Of course, not everybody can win. Also, First Lego League has its champions every year. They get to go to the next step in the big FLL adventure.
looking at the faces of all the young people, there don't seem to be any losers at FLL. We want to we want just to have good fun and if we if we go to the next step it will be okay and it will be fine, we will be very happy. But if, if Okay. If but we will, would not uh, win or go to the next step, we won't be sad because it's a good fun and we like playing together. The support of sponsors, partners and lots of volunteers enables hands-on technology to make first LEGO League possible year after year. Why should you participate? You should participate in the first LEGO League just for yourself. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work. Um, you will work hard at night, but you will never see your watch because um, what I have seen with kids who participated already is they spend many hours and they get all the enthusiasm and fun out of it because the first thing, it has to be fun and it will be fun to participate. You, you will learn a lot about yourself, about your skills, and this is our future, and you are our youth future, and we like to see you next year here at First Lego League. Be part of First Lego League. Be one of the innovators of tomorrow.